Ghost crabs are semi-terrestrial crabs of the family Ocypodini. They are common shore crabs in tropical and subtropical regions throughout the world, inhabiting deep burrows in the intertidal zone. They are generalist scavengers and predators of small animals. The name ghost crab derives from the nocturnality and their generally pale coloration. They are also sometimes called sand crabs, though this name refers to various other crab species that do not belong to the subfamily Ocypodini. Characteristics of the subfamily include one claw being larger than the other, thick and elongated eye stalks, and a box-like body. The differences in claw sizes, however, are not as marked as in the male fiddler crab. The subfamily includes 22 species in two genera. The particular ghost crab species seen here is Ocypodi quadrata, which is indigenous to Puerto Rico and other areas of the Caribbean. Ocypodini is one of two subfamilies in the family Ocypodini, the other subfamily being that of the fiddler crab, Usini. Both subfamilies have members in which one of the claw-bearing legs called calipeds, are much larger than the other. However, only male fiddler crabs exhibit them. While both male and female ghost crabs have unequally sized claws, the difference is also much more pronounced among fiddler crab males. The fiddler crab's carapaces are broadened at the front, while the carapaces of ghost crabs are more or less box-like. Lastly, the eyes of ghost crabs have large and elongated eye stalks, with the corneas occupying the entire lower portion, while in fiddler crabs, the eye stalks are long and thin, with the corneas small and located at the tip of the eye. Ocypodini was previously regarded as monotypic, with only one genus, Ocypodi, classified under it. In 2013, however, Katushu Sakai and Michael Turkey reclassified the Gulf Coast crab into a separate genus, Oplocypodi, based on differences of their gonopods, that is, the appendages modified into copulatory forms. Ghost crabs dig deep burrows near the intertidal zone of open sandy beaches. The burrows are usually composed of a long shaft with a chamber at the end occasionally with a second entrance and shaft. They are semi-terrestrial and breathe oxygen from the air through moistened gills. They must periodically wet their gills with seawater, usually by taking water from moist sand or by running into the surf and letting the waves wash over them. However, they can only remain underwater for a limited amount of time as they will otherwise drown. Ghost crabs are generalists scavenging carrion and debris, as well as preying on small animals, including sea turtle eggs and hatchlings, clams, and other crabs. They are predominantly nocturnal. They remain in their burrows during the hottest part of the day and throughout the coldest part of the winter. Ghost crabs are swift runners, darting away at the slightest sign of danger. They either head back to their burrows or plunge into the sea to escape intruders. The gates of ghost crabs alter as their speed increases. At higher speeds, the fourth pair of legs is raised off the ground, and at the highest speeds, the crab runs using only the first and second pairs of walking legs. Ghost crabs also have the ability to change colors to match their surroundings by adjusting the concentration and dispersal of pigments within their chromatophore. That is, the cells that enable the animal to change its outward color. They can even match the specific colors of grains of sand in their habitat. However, unlike metacrosis, which is a rapid change of color, ghost crabs are only capable of morphological color change, which occurs over a long period of time.
Ghost crabs dominate sandy shores in tropical and subtropical regions of the world, replacing the sandhoppers that predominate in cooler areas. Three species are found in the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea, and two occur in the eastern Pacific coast of the Americas. The remainder of the species are found in the western Pacific and the Indian Ocean to the tip of southern Africa. Ghost crabs are negatively affected by human activity on sandy beaches, such as sand trampling by foot traffic, the building of sea walls, or the presence of inorganic pollutants. Due to their worldwide distribution and the ease by which their burrows can be surveyed, ghost crab burrows are regarded as valuable ecological indicators for quickly assessing the impact of human disturbance on beach habitats. The ghost crab individual seen in this video has been taking sand deep from within its burrow and depositing it outside of the burrow. In this way, the crab is able to maintain its subterranean home.